Shylock, Kitch, and Its Hazards by Jean Amari. This is from 1976. Silliness is by no means invariably harmless. Trash that dare not speak its name becomes kitsch. In other words, art, which is none. We are dealing here with Jeanne sans genie. Literally uninspired. In French, the noun sans genie means, quote, sap, quote, fool, or, quote, simpleton. This may be a reference to a poem in Nietzsche's Beyond Good and Evil. In Walter Kaufman's translation, it reads, quote, Hail, dear drudge, and patient fretter. More drawn out is always better. Stiffness grows in head and knee. No enthusiast and no joker. Indestructibly mediocre. Saint-Genie, Saint-Genie et saint Esprit. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but there you go. A pseudo prat and footnote. A pseudo prat Paris, a pseudo Paris that descended on Frankfurt, undigested George Bataille. Transgression at bargain basement prices, and an ingenious injection. Excuse me, an ingenuous injection of the Berlin of the Three Penny Opera. Footnote, a reference to Bertolt Brecht's The Three Penny Opera from 1928. To make things worse, the whole thing is recited quite ridiculously as though it were a play by Buchner. Keep it with your other treasures. Footnote, this is a line from Schiller's drama Love and Intrigue. In Act 2, Scene 2, a valet brings one of the female protagonists a gift from the ruler, who has paid for the valuable jewels by pressing men, including the valet's two sons, into military service abroad. Assuming that she intended to keep the gift, her demonstrative indignation notwithstanding, the valet refuses the reward she offers him for his services, with these words, throwing the money back on the table, quote, with contempt, end quote. End footnote. Were it not for its outright anti-hero, the, tr the rich Jew, this play by Fassbender would merit no attention at all. Footnote. Rainer Werner Fassbender, Der Mühl, Die Stadt und der Tod. Garbage the City and Death. In Stuka 3. End footnote. Is this an anti-Semitic play? Hardly. It goes without saying that Fassbender was no more intent on writing something anti-Semitic than the rather more serious novelist Sven... Excuse me, Sverens. Sverens. By whose book about the moonlight uninhabitability of Frankfurt he was inspired. Footnote, Gerhard, Zver... Gerhard Zverens, Earth is as uninhabitable as the moon. End footnote. Fassbender's rich Jew is presented in a less tendentious manner than Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice, Marlowe's Jew of Malta, and Hauf's Yud Seuss. In fact, or Yud Zeus, in fact, 
Were it not for the aforementioned silliness of the entire enterprise, this loaded crook from Frankfurt would basically emerge as the tragic figure in the play, and the tragic, as is well known, transcends moral categories. It is obvious that Fassbender is no anti-Semite, but as the author of this play, he is a bad dramatist. He is, and this, for the purpose of our discussion, is the crux of the matter, void of psychological and philosophical insight, and proceeds in an ahistorical manner. What the play lazily rehearses and is embodied in the figure of the rich Jew, what the play lazily rehearses and is embodied in the figure of the rich Jew has nothing to do with Frankfurt. To be sure, as I have been told, there are criminals of Jewish descent in Frankfurt. There are also Jewish criminals in Tel Aviv, where the authorities ruthlessly prosecute crooks of this kind who deal in properties and prostitutes. Yet what does that mean, Jewish crooks? Not a lot. I can easily imagine a form of journalistic or literary outrage directed at those who act to the detriment of the city in which the word Jew does not feature. Not because some taboo prohibits it, but for the simple reason that the Jewish extraction of these criminals has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the havoc they wreak. Indeed, insofar as it was ever anything other than an empty myth, a skeletal specter, the quote, rich Jew, end quote, has long since ceased to function as an empirically grounded foil for the projection of fictional fabrications. If the play had been truly realistic and named the crook, who remains anonymous in the play, showing no fear of the libel trial that would likely have ensued, then and only then would it have been legitimate to refer to the, quote, Jew X, end quote, albeit with psychological mastery and a sense of historical responsibility. Is all this a matter of, quote, left-wing fascism, end quote? I recommend caution. I am not going to start arguing vociferously that, quote, snow is black, end quote, just because Joachim Fest suggests that snow is white. Footnote. Following the publication of his acclaimed Hitler biography in 1973, the historian and journalist Joachim Fest, 1926-2006, became one of the editors of the West German center-right quality daily Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, where he published his harsh critique of Fassbender's play on March 19, 1976. End footnote. I cannot see any, quote, left-wing fascism, end quote, in Fassbender's play. I do fear, however, that such uncouth nullities will give a boost to the widespread latent anti-Semitism, often masquerading as anti-Zionism, which is by no means a preserve of the Germans. Even an unsuccessful Shylockian play can promote anti-Semitic tendencies, beginning with those of the Philistines' coven and leading all the way to the graduate seminar and the commune. An intelligent author would have appreciated this. Fassbinder is young. This is no more his fault than I can claim credit for my advanced age. One cannot hold it against him that he did not experience National Socialism. But Fassbinder could easily have obtained the relevant documents that would have allowed him to recognize that one should not play with a fire that exudes toxic gas. The author we meet in Garbage, the City, and Death is no persecutor of Jews. Those familiar with the German scene, and I suppose I have to take their word for it, assure me that he is no leftist either. But he is clueless and sort of, quote, anti-capitalist, and, excuse me, and the sort of, quote, anti-capitalism, end quote, presented in this play is so simplistic that it could have 
that it could drive even Sartre into the arms of Raymond Aron. That Fassbinder did not opt for the, quote, rich citizen of Dusseldorf, end quote, compared to whom the, quote, rich Jew, end quote, is a destructive wretch, and choose instead to pull the time-worn figure of Shylock, excuse me, the time-worn figure of Shylock, out of the fusty closet, is about as far removed from socialism as, quote, right-wing, end quote, as one can be. However, what does bear noting and emphasizing is this. The Marxist dilettantes who doggedly present themselves as, quote, leftists, end quote, the homines ludentes of revolution, are not without responsibility for this tomfoolery. Translation, playing men or men who play. This is a reference to the cultural theorist Johann Huitzinga, 1872 1845, who stressed the integral cultural and social significance of playing and playfulness. End footnote. After all, they are the sounding board the author is playing to presumably without realizing that he in fact written that he in fact written his Shylockian show for the German house, a house whose brown walls have been given a perfunctory lick of new paint at best. Whatever Fest or the left may think, this is a dangerous play. The loser in this game are those who identify with an authentic left and have to look on as the Philistines coven, which is ultimately as opposed to the left as it is anti-Semitic, capitalizes on the play at the same time as the powers that be, with the serene conscience of the anti-Semite of yesteryear and today, make a killing trading with the Arabs. Both Fassbender and Fest mock the external excuse me mock the eternal loser of the old genuine left excuse me mock the eternal losers of the old genuine left who are not faring well as they continue to knock on the doors of deaf men fassbender and fest have no interest in seeing this play withdrawn far from it they were keen to observe whether the germans would react as they expect for all they still can do, as, and until they make their exit, is observe and continue to observe. 